What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be testing three products on the 2023 GR Corolla. Okay, in all seriousness though, this is going to be an accurate um, comparison between the OEM sound system. Fuck, it's not a sound system. What are these bows? What are, what are these bows? This is going to be an accurate comparison of the factory exhaust system versus our axle backs in our catback system. So all the numbers should be pretty accurate as to what you're gonna get. If and when you buy our product on our website, offlineformance.com. All right, first up, we're going to get the sounds of the OEM exhaust system with our decibel reader, and I'm gonna have it playing live for you guys so you, uh, you can see what we get. Okay, so now that we got the OEM sounds, um, we're gonna be throwing on our muffled axle back and then our muffler less axle back, and we're gonna be comparing the two, and then we're gonna throw on our cat back. So let's get to the install. Another uh, note to point out, our axle back um, replacements are going to be coming out of the passenger side and then our full cab back system is going to be coming out of the driver's side and you can purchase a block off plate with the axle backs and that's like another what seventy dollars i think 74.99 or something like that and then our cab back system which is uh, 5.99 on our website it comes with a block off plate with it so that's just another thing to think about These are your two options and they fit on both sides so you can just pick whatever you want it's another option on our website it doesn't cost any extra to get either one but you know just depends which one you want on your car should we put somebody put their hand behind it like the like the influence there you go dang you really see it now not bad Here the wild Eric installs the exhaust. He puts the gasket onto the flange. He puts the second gasket onto the same flange. He contemplates being short. <laughs> Next up is the uh, full catback system. We're gonna get some sounds on that, and then we're gonna see if the owner would like to keep it and take it home with him for uh, letting us use his car. Quick side note, 
um, when you're doing this, leave all of your bolts and clamps just snug. Uh, don't fully tighten them to get that proper fitment. Um, at the end, go back and then obviously tighten everything. But uh, yeah, for the time being, do not tighten your bolts all the way. Just get them snug, get them everything in place, and then go back and tighten them. Um, so for right now, we just have the uh, block off plate mocked up. The customer's unsure if they want to use it or not. Um, he's checking out Parker's car right now to see because his car has it on it. Um, but the car, it's mocked up. We're not going to do an install video on it. Um, I'll link that probably like right here. And uh, it's just like a quick three minute long video of me installing it. So it's super simple. It's one screw and then you use these two, um, these two, what would you call these? Plastic clips on the bottom of the bumper that are already there. So that's what it looks like. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, if you're curious in where you can find these products, go to offthelineperformance.com. The muffler delete is $225.95. The muffled axle back is $279.95. And then if you want the full cab back system, which is the um, muffler and the resonator, that's going to be $599.95. And that also includes the passenger side block off plate. Um, if you buy the axle backs, the block off plate's not included. but. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.